Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. Our topic is one that hits close to home, a lesson learned through a heartbreaking experience. As I was scrolling through my Facebook feed, I came across a high school classmate, her face marked by breathing tubes, and my heart sank. We were Facebook friends, but not close enough to pick up the phone and call her. A few days later, I logged onto Facebook only to learn that she had passed away. She needed a lung transplant and had turned to GoFundMe for help. The story leaves me with a profound sense of regret. Her situation painfully reminded me of my own procrastination. At a point in my life where I hadn't yet reached 40, I naively assumed that there would always be more time. Time to inquire about her health, time to offer support. Now, as the senior class president, I'm tasked with sending a memorial gift when we could have been proactive contributors to her GoFundMe campaign. Procrastination is a demon we often battle at different times throughout our life. We put off tomorrow what we can do today and often tomorrow never comes. But why do we procrastinate? One reason is the absence of structure. In a world where there are fewer external directions, we often favor instant gratification like checking social media over our long-term goals. To combat this, design your environment to make your goals more accessible and distractions less so. Reason number two, we tend to avoid unpleasant tasks. Many of the tasks that we are required or expected to do are simply unpleasant. We procrastinate on what we find boring or uninteresting. A solution is to break these tasks into smaller manageable steps. Shift your focus from the whole to these smaller tasks, making them feel less overwhelming. Reason number three, timing. Timing plays a role too. When rewards and punishments are far off, internal conflicts arise. Smokers often say one last cigarette. To overcome this, associate long-term goals with short-term rewards, making them more appealing. Reason four, anxiety. Anxiety is a major factor. Procrastination can be a way to cope with fear of failure. High stress levels often lead to procrastination. Reducing stress can combat this problem, making it easier to tackle high priority tasks. Number five, self-confidence. Lastly, self-confidence matters. Low self-confidence leads to self-doubt when challenges arise, while strong beliefs keep us going. Achieving goals boost self-confidence, driving us to set even greater challenges. But here's the silver lining. Procrastination can be beaten. With each day, we have the power to shape our future. Let's apply these lessons to another vital aspect of life, sobriety. We could overcome our addiction and create a brighter tomorrow if we just get started today. Now you might be asking, why prioritize sobriety today? Well, just like overcoming procrastination, there are countless benefits to embracing sobriety. Let's dive into a few of them right now. Benefit number one, improved health. Our first benefit is improved health. When we prioritize sobriety, you give your body a chance to heal. Your risk of serious health issues like liver disease, heart problems, and cancer significantly decreases. Imagine the positive impact this can have on your quality of life. Benefit number two, enhanced mental clarity. Sobriety allows your mind to regain its focus and clarity. You'll think more clearly, make better decisions, and enjoy improved cognitive function. The fog of addiction is replaced by a clear and sharp mindset. Benefit number three, emotional stability. With sobriety, you regain control over your emotions. Mood swings, anxiety, depression, they all become more manageable. 
This newfound emotional balance can bring a sense of peace and contentment to your life. Benefit number four is all about the people who matter most in your life. Sobriety can mend and strengthen your relationships. You'll be more present, reliable, and capable of nurturing healthy connections with friends and family. Trust can be rebuilt and love can flourish. Benefit number five, who doesn't love financial security? Benefit number five is exactly that. Sobriety can save you a significant amount of money. The funds that once fueled substance abuse can now be used for necessities like savings or enjoyable activities that promote your well-being. Benefit number six. Sobriety's benefit number six is something we all aspire to achieve, career advancement. When you're sober, new job opportunities become available and your job performance improves. Employers will value your reliability and focus, which can lead to promotions and career growth. Benefit number seven, personal growth is benefit number seven. Sobriety provides you with an opportunity to explore your passions, hobbies, and talents. It's a chance for self-discovery and personal development, leading to a more fulfilling life. Benefit number eight is all about boosting your self-esteem. Overcoming addiction is a tremendous accomplishment. Maintaining your sobriety reinforces a positive self-image, making you feel more confident and capable. Freedom from legal issues is benefit number nine. Prioritizing sobriety helps you avoid the legal troubles often associated with substance abuse. You'll steer clear of risky situations and legal entanglements, leading to a peaceful and worry-free life. And benefit number 10, last but not least, Benefit number 10 is about being a positive role model. By prioritizing sobriety, you can inspire others who are on their own journey to recovery. Your story can be a shining example, motivating and encouraging them to seek help and prioritize their recovery. In wrapping up our discussion, I want to acknowledge that achieving sobriety isn't as simple as my 10 benefits of sobriety checklist that I've shared with you today. If it were, addiction wouldn't be the complex challenge that it is, and you might not even be here right now. Addiction is real, and these 10 reminders are meant to underscore the vital importance of choosing sobriety. Remember, life is a canvas, and you are the artist. You have the power to shape your destiny, you can continue making excuses for not taking that crucial step towards sobriety, but those excuses can carry devastating consequences, even life-threatening ones. As we've discussed, tomorrow is never guaranteed for any of us, and each day that passes without facing your demons is a day that could be better spent on your journey to recovery. I urge you to choose the path of courage, strength, and self-discovery. Confront your demons head on, for within those struggles lies the potential for transformation and rebirth. If you're ready to embark on the path of sobriety today, I invite you to write Sober Today in the comments and share your plan. Know that you're not alone on this journey. There's a supportive community here to stand with you every step of the way. Your commitment to a sober today can lead to a brighter, healthier, and more fulfilling tomorrow. We believe in you. To all those who are battling with alcohol and addiction, it's a common human trait to judge ourselves based on the present moment, seeking immediate gratification and striving to appear cool or successful right now. But true transformation occurs when we shift our perspective from asking what's the least I need to do to get by to contemplating who can we become by harnessing our remarkable capacity 
for adaptation. Humans have risen to the top of the food chain not because we're the strongest or the most intelligent, but because we're the most adaptable to change. Think about it. When we're born, we have nothing, no skills, no knowledge, just fragile bodies. Our journey isn't about being great today. It's about steadily building ourselves brick by brick. This is what distinguishes the truly great from the rest, their willingness to put in the hard work to reframe the question from what's the least I can do to what's the most I can endure. As you peer into the long term, thinking about what you can achieve in the next several years, consider the amount of effort and relentless dedication required to attain the extraordinary. You may accept that you will need to put in the sweat, the grind, and the pain to become something truly exceptional. Key to this journey is understanding the mechanics of human growth. The process of building ourselves up step by step. It's about starting at something less than capable and relentlessly putting in the effort to evolve into something extraordinary. The goal is not to convince others with fancy words or look good on paper. It's about delivering tangible results, about genuinely becoming capable of the extraordinary. People often get caught up in the words and appearances but when you move beyond that, when you can transcend the noise and understand the significance of putting in the work, that's when you begin to transform. Only then will sobriety truly become attainable. It's about pushing past the empty rhetoric and actually performing, becoming something truly remarkable. Many aspire for the glitz, the glamour, the riches, but true greatness starts with a deep belief in yourself and your potential. Even when no one's watching, even when there's no one to impress, do you still push forward? Are you still willing to adapt and thrive? Do you still want to be something extraordinary? To measure your own success, stop focusing on the echo of applause and start concentrating on your own growth. Your sobriety is at stake here and other people's opinions don't matter. Believe in who you become tomorrow and let every day until your last be dedicated to unlocking your potential, building something meaningful and becoming a better version of yourself. It's about building a legacy, brick by brick, step by step. The true champions are not just born. They are made through their dedication to delivering championship performances day in and day out with unwavering belief in your potential. You've got this.
My dear friends, if you're on a journey of recovery, remember that to change your life, you must change your physiology and your focus. It's not about seeking wealth. It's about seeking a better you. In your pursuit of recovery, go all in. Make a commitment that this isn't a gamble, but a dedication to your own well-being. Learn to navigate this space so well that you say, I know for sure this will work. You can't expect an ordinary life with standard education. For all leaders, especially in the journey of recovery, the breakthrough lies in constant, never-ending improvement. Educate yourself, develop emotional mastery, and watch your execution thrive. The opportunity for self-education is right in front of you. Change your psychology from frustration to empowerment. Understand that this moment is the greatest time to be alive if you focus on growth, learning, and the development of new skills. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, shared his most crucial investment, Dale Carnegie's course. He recognized that developing himself was the most valuable investment. Learning to persuade, speak, and influence saved his ideas from fading away. Every living soul is allotted the same amount of time. It's how you use it that counts. Make your time matter. Engage in activities that bring you closer to your recovery goals. And remember, progress equals happiness. You are unique and your past experiences are part of your authenticity. Embrace your challenges for they are the gifts that make you special. Recovery is a journey and the path may not look like anyone else's. And that's the beauty of it. As you reflect on your journey of recovery, ask yourself, what do you truly want to become? What do you want to experience, contribute, and master? What does recovery look like to you? Create a compelling vision and take massive action towards it. Recovery is about reclaiming your life. Today, as you begin your journey, remember that recovery is not just possible, it's within reach. Believe in yourself, focus on your growth, and take action. You have the power to change your life and create a better tomorrow. Start your day off right, my friends, and embrace the possibilities that recovery brings.